To many people, rumors and gossip may seem like an innocent form of school life. After all, drama is expected at school. As a result, most adults see gossip and rumors as harmless and often encourage kids to just ignore it. But for those who deal with it every day, gossip can be downright painful at times and almost impossible to ignore. Consequently, kids who are being gossiped about are negatively affected in a number of ways. Gossip and rumors can destroy a person's self-confidence and affect their self-esteem. What is more, gossip and rumors can alienate friends, ruin reputations, and even leads to isolation and aloneness. Rumors are a piece of information or a story that has not been verified. What this means is that the person telling the story doesn't know for certain if it is true or not. Most of the time, people who spread rumors don't bother to find out if there is any truth to what they are saying. Typically, rumors are spread from person to person and can change slightly each time they are told. As a result, they can become exaggerated and changed over time. Rumors can involve just about anything and often run from the way you look to how you speak or how smart you are. Gossip is slightly different from a rumor. Usually, gossip involves a juicy detail of some sort, which means the information is shocking or personal. What's more, gossip is usually spread behind a person's back and can be very hurtful. Gossip almost always causes pain and humiliation for the person it's about. There are a variety of reasons why kids will spread rumors or engage in gossip. But at the top of the list, most kids gossip or spread rumors to fit in with their friends as a way to feel special or to impress others. Why gossip? To feel better. When people feel bad about themselves, they sometimes will target other people and try to make themselves feel better. To feel accepted. If everyone else in their circle of friends is gossiping or spreading rumors, kids will feel like they have to do the same thing in order to be accepted. To get attention. When one kid knows a secret that no one else knows, or they are the first person in a group to hear or start a rumor, it makes them the center of attention. To gain power. Some kids also want, always want to be the one in, in control and the one at the top of the social ladder. When kids are at the top of the social ladders or they are determined to climb higher, they sometimes accomplish that by hurting another person. To get revenge. When kids are jealous of another person's looks, popularity, or money, they might use gossip and rumors to hurt that person. 1. Remember that people are your equals. Everyone deserves to be treated the same way. Be respectful of others. 2. Try talking to the person. Tell them it's not nice and it's hurting you. Ask how they would act if they were in your place. 3. Talk to a guidance counselor or trusted adult. This adult could be a teacher, a parent, or any adult you trust. 4. Continue to ignore it. Dealing with disrespect is never easy, but if you aren't able to stop it, then ignoring it is the best you can do. 5. Friend supportiveness. When friends stick up for each other and even stand up to the offender, the behavior is more likely to stop. Have a parent email or talk with your teacher or principal if the issue becomes a major problem. If the bullying becomes dangerous or is too much for you to handle, informing the people that can help you with what is going on is the best thing that you can do. It's not tattling, it's defending your well-being. Don't be afraid to let others know about what is going on. Don't wait. There will always be gossip of some kind, but learning the six skills can help reduce its intensity and therefore decrease the common and unfortunate reality of the bully culture.